Hi, let's solve one previous question of greedy technique. This question was asked in CS 2011, question number 54. An undirected graph G, B, E, B for vertices, E for edges, contain N, N greater than 2 nodes named V1, V2 up to Vn. Two nodes Bi and Bj are connected if and only if 0 less than i minus j less than equals to 2. So that difference should be less than or equals to 2. Each edge B i B j is assigned a weight i plus j. The sample graph with n equals to 4 is shown below. This is the sample graph. What will be the cost of minimum spanning tree with n nodes and 4 options are given. First understand the sample graph V1, V2. Difference is 2 minus 1 is 1 less than 2. So they are connected and their weight will be 1 plus 2, 3. Here 3 minus 1 difference is 2 equals to 2. They are connected and weight is 3 plus 1. Here V4 minus V2 difference is 2 and weight is 4 plus 2. It's 6. Here V3 minus V2, 1. So it's connected and weight is 3 plus 2, 5. Here 4 minus 3 difference is 1 connected. 4 plus 3 weight is 7. B4 and B1 are not connected as 4 minus 1 it's 3 and 3 is greater than 2 it should be less than equals to 2 then only it will be connected as 3 is greater than 2 so it's not connected. B4 B1 are not connected. Suppose n equals to 3 means this much is the graph then in minimum spanning tree we will consider this as 3 plus 4. So minimum spanning tree cost will be 7. When n equals to 4, in minimum spanning tree, we'll consider this as 3 plus 4 plus 6. We cannot include 5 as it will be a cycle. So we'll skip 5 and we'll include as 6. So 3 plus 4 plus 6, it will be 13. Suppose n equals to 5, let me take another vertex B5. Then B3, B5 will be connected as difference is 2 and weight will be 5 plus 3, 8. B5, B4 will be connected. Difference is 1 and weight will be 9. B5, B1 will be not connected. B5, B2 will be not connected. Now in minimum spanning tree, we will consider this as B1, B2, B1, B3. Then we will skip 5. We will include B2, B4, 6. Then we'll skip 7 as it will create a cycle. Then we'll include B3, V5. So cost of minimum spanning tree will be 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 is 21. Suppose n equals to 6, then cost of minimum spanning tree will be 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10. For n equals to 7, cost will be 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12. So from this we can get a pattern that 3 plus 2 multiplied by 2, 2 for 4 plus 3 up to n minus 1. You can mark here last term is 6, 2 multiplied by 3 whereas n is 4. Here last term is 8, 2 multiplied by 4, n equals to 5. So you can write n minus 1. And this 3 we can split as 1 plus 2. Now we can take this 2 into the bracket. After taking bracket it will be 1 plus 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2 up to n minus 1. We know a formula 1 plus 2 plus up to n equals to n multiplied by n plus 1 divided 2. Here last term is n minus 1, so it will be n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 1 plus 1, so it will be n divided 2. We get 1 plus 2 multiplied by n minus 1 multiplication n divided 2. Now this 2 will be cancelled. We will get 1 plus n multiplied by n, n square minus 1 multiplied by n, so minus n. 1 plus n square minus n, we can write n square minus n plus 1. It's present in option B, so answer will be option B. n square minus n plus 1. Let me check for n equals to 
3. So 3 square 9 minus 3 plus 1. 9 minus 3 6 plus 1 7. Yes. For n equals to 4. 4 square that is 16 minus 4 plus 1. 16 minus 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. For n equals to 4 also it is correct. n equals to 5. 5 square that is 25 minus 5 plus 1. 25 minus 5 is 20 plus 1, 21. You can also solve in another way but that is more time consuming. Means you can go one by one option. Like here when n equals to 3 cost of the MST is 7. We can check here 2 multiplied 3 plus 1 is 7. So for n equals to 3 it is working. For n equals to 4, 2 multiplied 4 plus 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. So for n equals to 4, it is not working. Option D is wrong. Next check option C. For n equals to 3, 6 multiplied 3 minus 11. 6 multiplied 3, 18 minus 11 is 7. So it's satisfied. Next n equals to 4, 6 multiplied 4 minus 11. It's 24 minus 11, 13. It satisfies. Then for n equals to 5, 6 multiplied 5 minus 11. So 30 minus 11, it will be 19. For n equal to 5, it doesn't satisfy. So option C is wrong. This process is time consuming as for multiple n we need to check. And there are 4 options. For every option, we will try multiple n. So it will take more time. So better way, try to find a pattern and generalize it for n, you will get the answer. Answer is option B. You can also check for option A, it will satisfy for n equals to 3 and 4. It will not satisfy for n equals to 5. I already discussed minimum spanning tree, just go through that lecture. And if this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.